Hey, how's it going everybody? It's Avery at T-Review and 2. Welcome to my channel. Today I've got an unboxing of the Adagio T's order I placed and this is going to be filled with awesomeness. Let me go ahead and tell you right there. Spoiler alert. I should have gave you a spoiler. It's going to be filled with awesomeness. So yes, not only because of the items I placed in here, it's not all for me. There's some gifts in here, but I won't say who they're for or anything like that. But yeah, so and then also because Adagio T's had an awesome promotion going on where it was like a tiered promotion. It's like you spend $25, you get free shipping. You spend $75, you get a bag of the reindeer fuel tea blend they have and you'll see it up here on the side i got the picture plus it upstairs somewhere and uh, you know you spend a hundred dollars you get a free item 150 dollars a free item 200 dollars a free item which is easy to do on the adagio teas website a lot of great blends and tea wear but yeah so this is a hundred dollar order i think it was uh 102 dollars and 50 cents total price so yeah i got three of the free items if you include the free shipping and this but two physical items and we'll get to it let's just get to it all right Oh yes, you know what, I actually almost forgot one of the items I placed, because I placed this a little late, is the advent calendar. So last year I placed it earlier, you know, I did the unboxing and everything. This year has been, it's been all over the place here. I've been working a ton of overtime at the hospital and then just working on things around the house and just time is getting away from me. So I apologize I didn't get to do the unboxings of any advent calendars this year. However, I will definitely be doing a top 10 favorites of a couple of advent calendars including the Adagio T's advent calendar. Boom, <laughs> there we go right there. So yeah, won't be doing a full unboxing. I apologize for that, but I definitely will be doing a top 10 favorites. And I'm gonna got some catching up to do right here, which is, like I say, my fault. It isn't, wasn't like a long delayed shipping or anything like that. It's just that I waited a little late to order, which actually turned out great because I got to get some of these free promotional items. But yeah, the advent calendar, which is $29, 24 days of tea, different blends, and yes, look at that. I like that color right there. Kind of like the navy blue gold going on right here. And on the back right here, it says, the season is here to be of much cheer with firelight glow and the beauty of snow. Stay merry and bright with these teas that delight. Yes, all right. You know what, we're gonna spoiler alert. You, if you've got this advent calendar, you're already into it. If you don't have this advent calendar, you and you'd want to still be surprised with it or whatever, you may want to skip ahead a little bit. I'm just gonna open it up, you know, take a little peek on it. You wanna see it on the side and everything as well. And like you've been seeing it up close in the front and the back. But we're gonna open it up here. From the look of it with the size and everything, it definitely seems familiar, pretty much almost the same as last year's advent calendar as far as the size and the packaging. And let's get the actual dimensions here. So we've got about a little over 13 inches right there in the height. And in the width, we've got about eight and a half inches across right there. And so for the thickness of the advent calendar on the side right there, about a little over two inches. And so let's get inside of this, spoiler alert, let's open it. Pow, that is nice. Oh, okay. Do you wanna see it? All right, if you don't wanna see it, skip ahead a little bit. I'll put a uh, timestamp on this. And if you do wanna see it, check this out. <laughs> that is nice right there. It keeps that same theme. Kind of a minimalist design, but really nice. Just kind of, you could definitely have this, you know, on the counter. And just smile looking at it. Smile because you know there's different tea blends in it and the surprise of each tea, but also just because it looks nice right here. So it's got kind of like the little punch outs. Same as last year right here, as far as like with the design of it. And we're just gonna, let's just see what's in day one. And before I slide this one out right here, let's, let's take a guess at what it's gonna be. What kind of tea is this gonna be? Is this gonna be a green tea, a black tea, a white tea, a pu'er, an oolong, or an herbal? What do you think? I'm gonna just go out on a limb and say it's gonna be a green tea. I don't know, let's see, let's see. Three, two, one. Maybe I should have switched it to black tea. I haven't looked yet. I'm kinda of thinking it's gonna be a black tea though. I don't know, let me see if I can feel it and found it out. I want that view. oh gosh, I hope I'm not ripping the box too much. This, this, this sounds like a great idea for us. I was like, I'm gonna just, without looking, get this out, but I have not looked. Okay, I'm gonna feel it. Let's just, I mean. A green tea or a black tea? What is this? All right, what is this? Pumpkin spice, which is a black tea blend right here. All right, nice. You know what, actually, did I do a review of that? Yes, there's a review. I've done a review on the Adagio Teas of Pumpkin Spice, so check out the link of that. This was not planned. I have no idea what day one is. I'm gonna be taking notes and sipping through these and gonna be working on that top 10 favorites video for sure. And nice, yeah, the advent calendar, $29. Boom. 24 days of tea. Yes. And it sits up, stands up, as you can see, stands up that way. 
you know, a lot of in and out opening, you know, you're gonna get some rips and everything, you're gonna get some tears. So it's got that kind of like, not a thick cardboard, but not a paper. Kind of like a little bit thicker than regular paper, but not like cardboard like this thick, as far as like the construction of the advent calendar right here. And let's get to what we got next here. And we've got tea cookies, <laughs> yes. So we got the berry white tea cookies and the vanilla chai tea cookies. Let me go ahead and tell you, these are delicious. All the tea cookies from Adagio Teas are delicious. The consistency across all their tea cookies are about the same kind of, got that short bread kind of mouth feel, but there's some differences as well. If you wanna know more about the tea cookies, check out my review, link in the video and in the description, where I go through the taste, look, and mouth feel of all four flavors of the Adagio Teas tea cookies. There's the rooibos blend, the vanilla chai, the berry white, and then the matcha green tea as well. And I also rank them. Like, so like it was hard to do a counter because like I said, I like all of them, but check out the video if you wanna know more about that. But right here, we've got these two. They are $8 each. And there's about, let's see, it says serving size, three cookies, servings per container, six. So you say about 18 cookies is what they're aiming for right there, it's three times six. And the nutrition is about the same across all the different tea flavors from what I remember. I know these two are the same, but I think it's the same across all of them. But right here, three cookies is gonna give you 160 calories, 10 grams of fat, 120 grams of sodium, 18 milligrams of carbs, one gram of fiber, and 11 grams of sugar, and two grams of protein, and 6% iron, 2% calcium. So yeah, this is a nice treat to have by itself or with tea as a treat, snack throughout the day. Yes. Dessert, that's a snack. Like I'm just snacking on cookies. <laughs> yes. Uh, okay. And all right, what we got next here? Oh yes. So we got two of the Ingenuity Steeper Sampler sets right here. And one of them is a gift for someone who will remain undisclosed. And the other one is another steeper for myself. I'm gonna do a full unboxing and how to use of the Ingenuity T steeper, the first one. This is model number one, I guess you could say. I've done a video on the Ingenuity 2, the second iteration of these T steepers. You can check that out, description, link, right now. This isn't a video, I did, I did not plan for this video to be like, hey, check this out, link, check out. I'm just realizing like, I've ordered these things or things similar to them before. I mean, that's a good thing, I guess, <laughs> you know, coming back for more, but yeah, so. Very neat cheat steeper, the Ingenuity 2, I've used it several times, still in great condition. So I do brew and steep tea, you know, throughout the day, at the same time, multiple times, several times, you know, like, like for example, I recorded four reviews today. So I, I had like four tea steeping around the same time, like when it's in a span of like a few minutes or something. So yeah, it can get a little, get a little hectic right here. But so this is gonna help me organize that some more. This Ingenuity, the Ingenious Teapot is BPA free and it is dishwasher safe. These starter sets were $24. So you get the steeper and let's get some of the teas out here. All right, so yeah, so we got the bestseller starter set and the green teas starter set right here. This is 12 packets each. Um, individual portions. In the bestseller set here, we've got 12 different tea blends. We have Blood Orange, Earl Grey Bravo, Gunpowder, Honey Bush Banana Nut, Irish Breakfast, Jasmine Phoenix Pearls, Masala Chai, Peach Oolong, Peppermint, Raha Oolong Chai, Samurai Mate, and White Peach. In the green tea set right here, we've got 12 different teas. We've got the Citron Green, Citrus Mint Green, Dragon Pearl, Dragon Whale, Gimacha, Gunpowder, Goyukuro, Hojicha, Jasmine Yin Hao, Kokicha, Sencha, and Sleeping Dragon. And some of these blends in the bestseller set appeared in my top 10 favorites in the 2020 Adagio Tees Advent Calendar. So you know what? Check out the links in the video in the description if you want to see that list right there. But yeah, so this is me. I, part of me is thinking I might, you know what? This one of them might be a gift to someone else and the other one with this set. I'm not going to open them, but they're packets, like the sample packets if you had of Adagio Tees, about that size right there. But yes, so $24 for each set right there. Ah! So it's really neat. It was really good, nice price. Nice introduction. I figured this would be a good introductory to loose leaf tea for somebody as a gift. The person I'm giving it to has had loose leaf and it has had bag tea, but they just have like the little stainless steel infuser that they use for the teas, which I believe I gave them. They may have one of their own as well. But so yeah, that's what they use and that's great as well. But uh, I like a nice bottom dispenser and steeper. Like every, if you brew your tea this way, I know some different people brew their teas in various ways and that's awesome. That's one of the things I love about tea and how it's versatile it is as far as how you make it but I really like the bottom dispensing teapots tea dispensers steepers whatever you want to call them these are really neat and they hold up very well easy to clean and yes 
Can't wait to give this as a gift and can't wait to do an unboxing and use this other one. How it's used and everything is the same as the Ingenuity too, but the design of it is a little bit different. So looking forward to opening that one. Let's see what we got here next. And let's see what we got next is a teaspoon. Yes, yeah, so I have the regular Adagio tea teaspoon, but I was like, what this one with a clip? I'm like, you know what, look at that. It was like an alligator. Chomp, chomp. Alligator or a crocodile. But yeah, it looks like an alligator. <laughs> looks like an alligator. Looks like an alladile. Looks like a crocodile. All right. <laughs> oh, yeah. Man. All right. Anyways, I'm like, just, I never, I don't think I have a teaspoon, any kind of clip on it. So I'm just really like, going to be just probably like, so let's see, it's about six and a half inches as far as its length right there. And it's a teaspoon. So it's going to weigh that much as far as like the tea in that area right there. It's got the Adagio Teas logo right there on the bottom. Stainless steel teaspoon with clip is $8 right here. And added to my teaspoon collection, it's almost like I got a teaspoon collection going on. I've got, like I said, one from Adagio Teas, other tea companies. I'm not collecting them. I just kind of want, I think I was getting close to the $100 mark and I was like, I got so much tea, I need to calm down and buy tea. And I was like, okay, what else can I get? Just like, if that would be used, it might be kind of neat, that would be neat to unbox, you know, everything like that. So a teaspoon is what I end up coming with. <laughs> so yeah, does this hurt? It's a little sharp. I mean, it doesn't hurt, but yeah, you don't want that just sitting on your finger all day. Why do I do that? <laughs> a teaspoon with clip, stainless steel, dishwasher safe, made in China, $8. Got one more item, we have a couple of free items. So this right here is the Sour Apple Blend, which I got on sale for $1.50. Like while I was checking out on the website, kind of going back, there's this little section that kind of pops up if you scroll down some, and it just kind of comes up randomly. It says, hey, you want to check out these samples or whatever? And it has them like discounted. And there's usually about three different samples and it rotates between a couple. Like if you refresh the page, sometimes you might get the same two as offering. If you refresh it again, you might get one of the same and a different blend. So I think it was like sour apple, I feel like chamomile was one, maybe. There was like three different blends. And I was like, oh, sour apple, I haven't had that before. So I just added it to the cart, it's like $1.50. And any ingredients here is rose hips, hibiscus, apple pieces, and natural apple flavor. I figured that'd be a nice one to have iced. So got a nice little 0.8 ounces right there. Time for some free items. Like I said, this was a really neat, awesome promotion. First item right here, $75. Like if you spend $75, you get this item free. And it is a bag of the reindeer fuel. This is a three ounce bag right here. And it is a nice size. So you see three ounces, but it's like, this is a nice bag right here. And it is a limited edition blend, specially formulated to give Santa's team the caffeine boost they need to keep dashing through the snow. So yeah, this is a blend that doesn't really stick around like all year long, mostly around, you know, the holiday season. And often I've seen it also in their rewards program. If you spend a certain amount of points, you could use it towards some of their limited edition blends. So yes, in this blend right here and the ingredients for the reindeer fuel, we got black tea, toasted mate, cocoa nibs, natural flavor, peppermint, and ginger. See, I'm looking forward to having this. I don't, I don't think I've had reindeer fuel before. No, unless it was in some kind of a sample or was it in the tea calendar last year? I'm trying. Gosh, I've drank so much tea since last year. <laughs> I can't remember. But yeah, so reindeer fuel. Looking forward to this nice bag of this. And so the next item was free if your order was at least $100. And it is a double wall mug and infuser, this porcelain cup and infuser, mug, cup, however you want to say it. Different people say different things. I don't know what I would call this. If I just would just look at it, I would probably say a cup. I feel like a mug would have a, a handle on it, something like that. But yeah, anyways, I mean, a mug, it doesn't have to have a handle. Who am I to say what a mug should be? You know, a mug is a mug, a cup is a cup. Be what you want to be, a cup and mugs. All right, I don't know. But yeah, so this is a nice design. You know what? Is it like the calendar? Yeah, look at that. It's like the advent calendar. Oh my gosh, should I, should I drink all the teas in this? Like, this is neat. Look at that, that same kind of color going on, that same design that I said I liked is in cup form. I saw it on the website. I remember oh, checking out where I added it. You want to, I think it got added automatically. Yeah, it added automatically to my order once I got to the $100 mark. And I was like, that looks really neat. I like that color, the navy kind of gold, but not real flashy or anything. But yeah, we'll get an up close. Of course, you'll see it up close on the side and everything. And it's got the lid. Oh, don't drop it, like right. I mean, let's get, let's get this box. So yeah, oh yeah, the box hat. Definitely had the bubble wrap and everything inside, packed very nicely right there. And 
We've got the lid. Oh, it's got the little divot right there. A little dip at the Adagio Tees logo right there. We've got the lid. It's got a nice little weight to it. I mean, it's not heavy or anything. Hey, look at that infuser. Look, oh, that makes sense. That's why the little divot's right there. Look, you have that all closed up. Boom, boom. That's nice. Nice design on this. Like that Christmas tree it says Merry Christmas. Has it possibly in a different language right there? I do not know. Got another language right here on the bottom. Got Feliz Navidad. You got, I believe this is French, Joy Ye Noel. Joex Noel. Hope I'm not ruining that <laughs> for French speaking people. I apologize if I said that incredibly awkward or wrong to the French speaking people. Yes, and I won't even attempt to say, you know, the, yeah, I won't attempt to speak the other languages here. I know English and I know some Spanish and that's it. I want to learn a language like the lingo is really neat. Of course, speaking the language is a great way to learn it as well, just casually to yourself or to other people, of course. But I use this Dilingo app every now and then when I think I'm gonna get a little rusty in Spanish or something. I'm like, oh, I need to get more Spanish. I haven't speaking it enough. Cause I'll just speak it randomly sometimes with my kids and things. But like the Dilingo app, I'm like, let's pull it up. Let's do some of that. I need to stick to it more every day, but yes. Anyways, back to this mug right here. This is nice. Nice feel to it. You know, we gotta get the dimensions and the weight, right? Come on. Y'all too saw this. All right, right here, and the height, we got about five inches right there, and the width. You know, I should do this with this hand so you can actually see it on the camera, right? Which I am left-handed, I don't know, I'm ambidextrous when it comes to certain things. My hand, I write left-handed, but I do other things right-handed, and I'll switch back and forth, like when I'm eating and drinking, I switch hands, it's, it's odd, I don't, know. I don't know. Is it odd? I don't know, everything's odd. Um, let's see, um, the width right here is about, three and a half inches right there at the top, which is wider than the bottom. Bottom's gonna be about two and a half inches right there. Got that nice porcelain glossy feel to it, like glazed inside and out. I think there's only one part that's not glossy or glazed, it's that one little part around the lid right there, but the rest of it is. That interior perimeter right there, as you can say. And I think the bottom, yeah, the bottom of the cup mug, however you want to say, the bottom of the cup is not glossy right there, which it probably helps with the traction, not like sliding as much. Just the bottom right there on the outer rim right there. It's got that kind of ceramic feel to it, but inside right there, glossy porcelain feel right there to it. And all around the cup and the inside, got the glossy glaze feel to it. Wait, let's get to the weight. Oh yeah, before we get to the, before we get to the weight, let's look at this infuser as well. It's a mesh, fine mesh infuser right there. Very movable right there, the bottom and top. Bottom and side, of course you could push it, all that stuff, I'm not gonna do too much of that. I don't wanna fold it or break it or you know bend it too much. A little bit more sturdy on the top right there and a nice little handle. Not super thick, stainless steel or anything like that, but thick enough right there so you're not bending it every time you do it. It's not as vulnerable as the fine mesh part right there. But yeah, nice little infuser right there. It dips right in there and Let's get the measurements of it as well. So around the infuser, width of that, it's gonna be about three inches right there of the infuser. And it gets smaller on the bottom. It's not really that completely felt, it's not completely like flat or anything. It's kind of got like a little oval kind of sticking out, little divot right there. Or out opposite of divot, because it doesn't go in, it kind of goes out a little bit more, you know what I mean? Uh, but yeah, a little one and a half inches around on the bottom and the width, all circular. So yeah, and then a little handle. A little handle is like one inch right there from the top of the infuser. So yeah, finger fits in there, right there. So it is like a scoop, isn't it? Like you know, get your tea out with it. All right, uh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna weigh it. Let's weigh it. The infuser by itself, why not? The infuser by itself is 0.5 ounces. <laughs> in the cup, but nothing else but the cup is 15.5 ounces. Everything in the cup with the infuser, with the lid is one pound, 2.6 ounces. And I don't think we weighed the teaspoon. Let's weigh the teaspoon. The teaspoon is 1.3 ounces right there. But this hurt. Ow! Yeah, oh, okay. Do not wear this as an earring because it will give you a piercing. And that is it with the unboxing of the Adagio Tees order. I hope you all have an awesome day. Enjoy that cup of tea you got. Take care.